Blue eyes are deep water species. It occurs on the continental margin and a range of deep water seamounts. And we really just don't know where it spawns, where the juvenile fish spend their early phases of their life and where they migrate from to end up on the fishing grounds where they're caught. It has a huge range around southern Australia. Well, in fact, from around about the Queensland border right across to Western Australia. And in the stock assessment process, it's modelled as a, as a single stock. In other words, there's no consideration of the, the, the different populations that exist across that really large geographical range. There's only a certain amount uh, of fish caught each year called a totable allowable catch, and each operator has their individual quota. The more science knowledge that you have on any species of fish, the better. The problem with blue eye at the moment is there's very little known about it. And the problem with that is we don't know whether we're catching the fish on a sustainable basis or not. What's happened in the last five or so years is that the total allowable catch has decreased by about 50%, from about 800 tonnes annually to about 400. The benefit of the research will be to provide greater certainty to the process that sets that quota and I guess we all hope that that will mean that the quota can, can increase as a result. One of the techniques we use for working out where blue eyes spend their lives is to look at the chemical composition within the ear bones. The chemical makeup and the ratios of different isotopes in the ear bones will tell us a lot about where the blue eye come from. We use this information together with models of ocean currents to tell us how blue eye move from their spawning sites onto the fishing grounds and what that means in terms of stock size. We'd need to know more about the fish because blue eye would be the staple fish for our business and it would be, blue eye would be the staple fish for Tasmania as a whole. It tastes fantastic and it's very, very easy to cook and very easy to prepare. It's hard to get it wrong. Simple pan fried, oven baked, really simple flavours, a little bit of garlic and lemon butter, let the fish do the talking. I'd be devastated if it, if it, you know, if it wasn't there for the future. We want it there in the next 50 years as, as it has been in the last 30, 40 years, you know, so forever really. My parents were cooking this fish back in the 70s in the restaurant in Battery Point. We cook it now, still, and I would like to see uh, the next generation, my kids, cook the fish, you know, in 20, 30 years' time. It's, it's incredibly important to us.